You know, a lot of people buy these uh, bed bug traps from Harris because they think they've, gave, they've got bed bugs, that this is the one thing that they can put down and cure. But it really is an early detection system. You have to realize this is really to tell you maybe you've got a bed bug issue. If you're not sure, this will definitely let you know. If you've got bed bugs, you need more than just a simple trap. You need to treat the area. And the first thing you need to do is get rid of the bed bugs that are there by taking the sheets off the bed. Take all the sheets off, put them in the dryer, put it on high heat for about 20 minutes. That'll at least kill the existing bed bugs. You also want to make sure you vacuum the area really well. You want to make sure that you vacuum that room that might be infested, the mattress you can vacuum, the floor all along the baseboards. You want to try to get as much surface area vacuumed up as you can. Now while your sheets are drying, now's your chance to treat the area. Now you'll want to treat the mattress area in and around the bed with Harris Bed Bug Killer Spray, which comes in a smaller size or a more economical large size if you've got a big area. Harris sprays are water-based formulas, so they dry slower. This gives bed bugs time to crawl back and spread the formula at their breeding areas. They die when the spray is dry. Now this water-based formula is odorless and non-staining. Then you'll want to treat the area for any bed bug eggs. This is Harris Egg Kill Bed Bug Killer. Now you can use this on places like your couch or chairs or more importantly maybe your luggage. You just came back from a trip. Well you can spray that to make sure that you get the eggs. You want to make sure you get into all the cracks and crevices and that's where Harris Bed Bug Killer Powder comes in. You can puff a couple of squirts along the baseboards, maybe behind where you've got some cracks along the wood or maybe even behind the outlet covers to make sure that no bed bugs have hidden inside the walls there. And last but not least, what you want to make sure is that you've got some type of a protectant on your mattress or box spring. Once you get this infestation under control, you should seal your mattress and box springs with protective covers. You want to make sure that you've got your mattress and box spring completely sealed on all sides. And all of this information about the entire Harris product line is available on their website. You can download this flyer by going to the website and it will take you through all of the products and tips on how to use them. All of this information and more is available on the website pfharris.com